Well, I think the most, the best advice is not to be paranoid. Uh, you need to actually think about what your information, and and I think the biggest danger really about security of information is that you release information inadvertently onto the internet. That's the biggest security threat that most people have in their lives, and uh, as a journalist, you know, you you, you uh, get so involved in digital tools that you press some button, put something on a blog, or put something in a a collaborative venture where someone else can make that content public and we don't want to have our entire lives on the internet nor do you want to have your notes when you're investigating as a journalist made public partly because your job is to look at things that might not be true to, to investigate rumors allegations all kinds of things and it's, it's obviously no good at all it's unfair it might be illegal to publish those notes on the internet so you've got to be very careful about you know, what you say and put in the public domain, remembering that once you've tweeted something, it's basically there forever and you can't get it back. I, I take my advice from other people. I'm not a computer security expert, but obviously I'm a, sort of a user of security products. And the, the, the main lesson I get taught, really, is that the, the biggest point of weakness is always the human being. So there's no good getting using sort of paranoid technologies if you yourself leave your laptop lying around or, your, or, the, or the password to your own computer uh, is, is simple and insecure. So you have to start by protecting the terminal, as in that means you, the human being. Uh, be careful about what you do and your own behavior. Don't get too paranoid. Worry about the, uh, the, the, the casual threat, the threat from the person you're investigating or whatever. Don't you worry too much unless you deal with intelligence stories about the threat from the state intercepting your calls. They're too busy with other, other things to worry too much about you and your little story. But there are technologies, and I think they're quite good to use, partly because uh, by you using them, they protect other people because they become effective if everyone uses them. And that's, and that, that's why it's a good thing to use encrypted technology and uh, encrypted emails over the internet. Not necessarily because you should be paranoid about your own communications, but by you using them, you make safe a dissident in China who really is under is in danger because they don't stand out from the crowd. If at the moment you use encrypted in communications, you kind of stand out, but that should be the norm. Uh, and that's the way to secure the internet. So the more you use it, the better. And one of those techniques is, is Tor, uh, which is, provides you a means to protect your anonymity in surfing over the internet. What's protected is, is your connection into this Tor network. And then out of this Tor network comes a connection is your connection to wherever, what, whatever site you're looking at. So, for example, if you look at uh, uh, Google, Google cannot tell where you are and that it's you that's talking to it. Uh, so that's very useful. It's particularly useful in countries where uh, there's a lot of censorship and, and also it's very useful in dealing with people who collect a lot of information about you. So websites that, that, that collect a lot of information about you, you don't necessarily want to identify the IP address, that's the internet address of, of, of where you are. It's good for that. There's a danger though in that because it's, it's, it's identified as a site used for sensitive purposes, for intelligence, for diplomatic communications, by dissidents, etc., it's quite widely monitored. Now, and, it, and the point is it's insecure at, at the point that it emerges from the Tor network. So if you are, you can exit nodes from Tor can be, can be monitored. And that means that if you're using an unencrypted connection uh, to a website, that means in simple terms, if you use a, a website that's just HTTP, rather than a secure connection to a website, which is over SSL, that's secure socket layers, which is you know, easily to see by HTTPS, um, then you are not secure, you're not being very secure over Tor. I mean, if you use that connection, then it means it's secure all the way through to the website you're connecting to, that's fine. But if you're worried that the website, one of two things, one, the website you're looking at may um, be insecure in itself, or that, you're, that there's something that, that might be sort of you know, that, that might be sensitive that could be picked up and looked at. Um, don't use anything insecure through through Tor. So Tor is a very useful tool, um, but you have to be be aware of its limitations.